Hey guys, the Cutter Poster Shop here, and today it will be a short video with me about an experimentation. I will try to glue the LCD with the glass that support it in the machine. But stick with me till the end, I will explain everything in the video. So let's start with the cleaning of the two surfaces. We really don't want to have any grease or dust or any contamination between the two. So the idea of this modification is to eliminate potential reflection in the glass that supports the LCD. The air gap between the LCD and the screen can create a reflection that can be resolved as light bleeding. The effect can be associated with a fish tank. You know when you look inside, it's like if it's surrounded with mirrors. Here is a representation of the VAT, LCD and light source. Ideally. We need a parallel array that I don't have right now, but I will come back to it in a minute. Even with the parallel array, the light can be deflected by the thin air gap, so in this case, the parallel aspect is not useful. The glue we are using is specialized in screen and optic areas, so it basically fuses the two together. By removing the air, the mirror effect is now not present. Right now, the array we are using is one of that we build. The rays is not parallel, but the idea is to develop something that work great and cheap so we can save a few bucks on the build. The parallel is supposed to be superior, but we, care, we can assure you that our array is very good. The idea is to have multiple LEDs like the conventional array with lens that have a very narrow angle. Like that, the angle is less pronounced so it's almost parallel and if there is light bleeding it's very minimal. You will see the, the result at the end of the video. So like in the build BOM and documentation we are using a 6 mm thick glass to support the LCD. This is the one that we will glue the glass to it. Like I mentioned we are using a specialized glue for screen and optic purposes. What I discovered with some tests, it's that the glue doesn't seem permanent. It stays like in a jelly form, so I think removing it will be possible, but only if you need to. You need to be very careful here to put enough glue and don't introduce air bubbles. Uh, when the glass is on, trust me, you don't want to remove it to clean everything up. I did it and it was very messy. So now you can carefully put the glass on top. You can push on it a bit, but the weight of the glass do pretty much all the job. Just wait about a, a, a half an hour and it should be good. You just need to put some kind of blocker to prevent the glass from slipping. I came back few times to clean the edge to reduce the clean up after. Unfortunately, I have a few bubbles in it. I didn't been able to make them go away and I really don't want to clean everything a second time. So I leave them because I thought it wasn't a big deal. Now I'm using a UV torch to set the glue enough that the glass doesn't slip around when I will put it in the machine. I think it's correct to say that the rest of the curing will be done in the machine. And now the results. I used this ornamented Pokemon from Tigiverse because I thought it would be easy to see if there is a difference. I turned off the AA 
settings to see better. With my eyes, personally, I don't see any difference between the two. But there's more. I have seen a guy on Facebook called Diffusor 3D and I thought trying the same thing will be nice because he has amazing results. I just need to mention that I'm using the exact same slice every time and I think I should have put a little bit more exposure with the diffuser. But I think there you can see a difference. What I'm seeing, it's a smoother finish and a bit of a shine to it. But it seems that this technique is more pronounced with translucent resin. I would let you go see the Diffuser 3D page on Facebook and the results speak from themselves. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you soon!